Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we are going to have a discussion of an important question paper of first semester BCA BSc Generic English, May June 2022 examination under Bangalore City University BCU. So let's begin it. The very first section you have here, the workbook. Section A, workbook, which has the weightage of 40 marks. So let's begin the workbook questions. Read the following passage and answer the question set on it. So here you will be given you will be given a passage, and you need to read the passage. You can uh, pause this video and you can read the passage. And based on the passage, you need to answer. You need to answer five questions based on the passage. And these five questions will have variety of questions. It may have the true false questions. It may have the questions like yes or no question, uh, true false. Uh, the the title of the passage. Or the multiple choice questions also so my suggestion is here when you you need to read the passage for two times and we, when you answer the questions from this passage write the answer to the point don't copy the paragraph paragraphs together from the passage so after reading the passage you can easily get five out of five marks so that's about five marks passage here five marks questions from the passage so you can pause this video and you can read the passage then the next question you have here uh, data interpretation. So sometimes they ask line graph, pie chart, bar graph. So here you need to read this graph and you need to uh, interpret this graph here. And this interpretation of data interpretation question has the weightage for five marks. So it's a simple answer. You answer might vary from my answer. So I given in very simple terms, like this graph indicates the usage of various electrical gadgets from the year. 2017 to 2022 sorry 2020 these electrical gadgets are mobile computers and laptops these four years display the quality usage of laptops whereas the mobiles usage does not do not have a, there's a grammatical error i'm sorry whereas the mobiles usage mobiles usage does not it does not have the consistency for example the mobile usage has come down drastically in the year 2019 due to COVID-19 these three gadgets are extensively used in the year 2020 according to the graph the year 2017 and 2020 have witnessed equal usage of laptops the year 2018 has witnessed laptops uh, has witnessed the laptops more laptops more usage so you need to interpret you can give a, a simple interpretation as well as a comparative interpretation you can compare between 2017 to 2020 2017 to 2019 2017 to 2080 then 2017 to 2020 so like this you can give the interpretation and you can easily get here five marks then then you have the questions here five marks one question with a choice from the topic listening skills they describe the types of listening and this question has been repeatedly asked in many in the last two examinations so based on the purpose or int intention of the listener listening may be classified as selective listening critical listening discriminative listening so what is selective listening? Selective listening means to say only uh, one only hears what one wants to hear and often tunes out other things because one finds them irrelevant or boring. Critical listening, it involves being critical about what is being said, taking the most important bits and making judgment as needed. So very judgmental listening, I would say. Discriminative listening. It precedes the understanding of the words and relies on tone of voice and other sub, uh, other uh, subtleties of sound to understand the meaning and intention. Then informational listening. It's similar to critical listening in what we retain the parts that are most important. Informational listening is our way of being educated through speech. We listen to the news or we, we attend the classes to learn the things, to gain no, new information and insights. How, for example, you are listening to my video, watching to video, my video, that's informational listening. Then comprehensive listening, where you become more critical and generally we develop this habit in our early childhood. Then biased listening. Here, 
you you start to you start to have the bias you start to have your own opinions you start to have your own expectations empathetic listening this style of listening is also known as a therapeutic listening so this allows you to offer a version of therapy where we walk the individual through whatever they are experiencing as if we are experiencing it for ourselves so sometimes we start to relate with each other that's called here empathetic listening now the next question in option you have here difference between hearing and listening so what is hearing hearing is the act of perceiving sound and receiving sound waves or vibrations through the through your through your ear listening is the act of hearing sound and understanding what you hear then we have hearing just happens all the time whether you like it or not whereas listening requires concentration hearing simply happens listening leads to learning hearing is a skill where you use your ears only it it is one of the five senses listening uses different senses like the sense of hearing seeing or sense of touch hearing is involuntary act whereas listening is a voluntary act your brain your brain to process the meaning of it hearing is physiological and listening is psychological hearing hearing is subconscious level listening is conscious level then hearing in the hearing process we don't require concentration whereas in the listening process we require concentration so these are the basic questions types of listening and the difference between listening and the hearing for five marks and always these two questions are i think uh, more over more or less very permanent questions which i have seen in the last two question papers then do as directed here language functions i had done the videos on language functions data interpretation uh, listening and hearing you can go through the, uh, go through the links in my description box or the playlist of uh, those videos you just see the playlist first bcu bcu first sem bca bsc generic english first question we have here introduce yourself to your principal as a parent Hello sir good morning i am manoj father of suhas who is studying in the first semester bcom section a in your college so this is a very brief introduction in a very systematic manner in a very polite manner formal formal way of introduction request your class teacher to consider one of your friends as a volunteer for the nss special camp excuse me sir one of my friends manoj also likes to be a volunteer in the nss camp sir he has he has also volunteered during his puc would you please enroll his name in the volunteers list third question express your word of congratulations to your teacher on the award of phd congratulations on your phd sir the great hard work and efforts you put into your endeavors are beyond excellent congratulations on another success to you a doctorate comes with a great deal of admiration for everybody from everybody next question enquire at the stationery shop for practical record books hi sir do you hi sir hi uncle do you have practical record books could you please show me 200 pages record books seek permission from your mother to participate in tracking camp <clears throat> Hi mom your college uh, sorry hi mom my college is organizing a tracking camp and all my friends are going would you please allow me to go for tracking camp it will be refreshing for me after the examinations so these five questions you find here each for two marks 2 to 2 into 5 10 very easy now another three marks questions instructions you have a choice here give instructions to your sister on how to get a toll pass so what is the most important thing in the writing instructions use the main verb first that's called imperative sentences open close like this open nhai portal click on fast track monthly pass link select the toll plaza name enter the captcha now select the pass type pass scheme continue with the payment you will issue will be issued with a receipt on successful payment just five or six steps because it has a weightage of 3 marks then <clears throat> next question give directions to your brother to go to the heritage high school from central bus station so it's very easy use the few easy terms take right left straight so you can go through it you can go through the map so that's for two marks giving direction for two marks now you have here basic grammar 
okay you have basic grammar and three questions from question framing questions ws questions so yes or no question if you look at your first question the medicine is widely used to treat primary missiles so here you need to frame a ws question to get primary missiles as an answer so the question the answer could be why is the medicine widely used for which treatment is the medicine widely used so any kind of any one question you can opt then the viceroy returned to spain yes or no question so generally yes or no question we frame using the helping verb first did the viceroy return to return to spain if you used it you are not supposed to use is ed form to the main verb i went to college yesterday where did you go yesterday so these are the three questions from uh, questioning framing question framing topic then question text lab examinations are advanced by a week so remember you need to copy the same sentence you need to remove the full stop you need to add comma then look at the helping verb here the helping verb is here are so it's in the positive one so your question text should be negative aren't they the contracted form of not negative aren't they so if it's positive then it should be negative if the first part is negative then the question text should be positive similarly you can look at the second question renuka did not have a project to work on interdisciplinary studies so copy the same sentence comma did she why did she because it's in negative so your question text should be positive and don't forget to add here question mark i have seen many students in the examination they forget to mark, to add here the punctuation question mark and remember without mentioning the punctuation question mark your question is not considered as a question or the question tag so the question mark is very important and underline your question tag part so that's for two marks 2 into 1 2 next question uh, three marks questions by using um, this one subject verb agreement so an abacus is an ancient device that is used for arithmetic calculation so is or were so obviously it's quite daily used one i would say i mean a practiced one is an ancient device not was an ancient device fire inch sticks are found in all parts of china furniture is made of wood not has made of wood is furniture Uh, cannot be furnitures it's always singular furniture is made of wood then the verbs form you have to use a the correct form of the word money gives us a sense of security so by using this underlined word we need to use a fitting word but so the answer is here but being secured it is tough we need to convert this security into a verb secured being secured it's a tough task then similarly her voice is melodious you need to convert the underlined word melodious into noun so it will be melody her melody impress the audience so that's for two marks now course book now so far we have discussed here 40 marks questions from the workbook now let's begin the course book questions so what does the uh, you have here one mark questions and out of six questions you are going to opt here what five questions So, what is the poet tired of hearing in the poem "Democracy"? The poet is tired uh, of hearing that the the when the people says that let things take the course, the poet gets tired of hearing. In farewell address at Chicago, Obama says that what remains as important and often divisive divisive forces or 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 divisive forces forces that is race race remains as important. What did the report say? about the unknown citizen the report said that there was no official complaints against him and he was a saint who is ramesha so i i got a very critical answer after thinking i got this might be the correct answer if anything wrong please write in the comment box we'll try to improve in the next video ramesha is a school boy sorry for the spelling error i, I forgot to mention b o y boy ramesha is a school boy he doesn't have father he is brought up by his mother every day he has to wait for his bus to reach school who is ramesha ramesha is a school boy in the story the golden dream what effect has a general in the powerful tank it needs a driver or a leader so 
it needs a driver or a leader so the powerful tank requires a driver or leader then question number six name the defect in the bomber in the poem from a german war so what's the defect it needs a mechanic it needs a mechanic next question what is free speech according to sarukai so according to sarukai free speech is nothing but the conditions under which the hearer is not allowed to take offense and intimidate the speaker the real freedom in free speech lies not in the freedom of the speaker to say what she wants but in the constraint on hearers to allow the speaker to say what she wants so these are the five marks questions now we are going to have a discussion of the another five marks questions paragraph type and out of three questions you are going to opt only one so the question is here in the poem democracy the poet calls for a change and what is the change he wants to bring and how democracy by langston hux is a direct and powerful poem that asks the reader to to reassess the ideas about freedom and democracy it was published in 1949 and is focused on the fight for equal rights under the law including the ability to vote for african americans the poem explores the black american experience at a time of extreme segregation inequality and state sponsored racism the speaker argues that the united states cannot truly be a democracy until everyone has equal rights and that equality and freedom are as necessary as food when it comes to survival the speaker further suggests that democracy will only come about through a powerful social movement for change the poem opens with the speaker talking about democracy never coming through comp compromise and fear the speaker has as much a right to own the land and stand on his own two feet just like anybody else he then goes on to talk about the fox who say uh, freedom will come tomorrow just let it take its course the speaker feels those people have got it wrong since he cannot live on tomorrow's bread freedom is a strong seed and is planted in a great need and since the speaker lives here he deserves freedom just like anybody else question number 2 freedom does not come with compromise and fear substantiate it so the democracy by langston hug is a direct and powerful poem that asks the reader to reassess their ideas about freedom and democracy it was published in 1949 and is focused on the fight for equal rights under the law including the ability to vote for african americans the poem explores the black african the black i'm sorry the black american experience at a time of extreme segregation inequality and state sponsored racism the speaker argues that the united states cannot truly be a democracy until everyone has equal rights that equality and freedom are as necessary as food when it comes to survival the speaker further suggests that democracy will only come about through a powerful social movement for a change in the first stanza of democracy the speaker begins with a simple statement democracy is not going to be realized through compromise or through fear the masses will not be silenced into compliance through persuasion freedom is not gained through incremental changes but through a complete overhaul of the system that has sought to disenfranchise black voters at every turn and this question has a similar answer as per the previous question also question number 3 how does society evaluate modern man in the poem the unknown man the unknown man is a poem that orden wh orden wrote at a turning point in his life when he left england for the usa and left behind the idea that his poetry could make anything happen in the world the year was 1939 Hitler has had plunged Europe into darkness and the young Odin 
was horrified, but he had already done his bit for the cause, having married Erika Mann, the daughter of famous writer Thomas Mann, to help save her from the brutality of the Nazis. His move to America helped broaden his artistic output. He began to concentrate on religion and relationships in his poetry, as opposed to the left-wing politics, and he also ventured into writing drama and liberty. So his poems are more or less political poems. <clears throat> the, un the Unknown Citizen is a typical audience poem in that it shows the poet's profound concern for the modern world and its problems. The speaker of the poem concludes that the man had lived an entirely average, therefore exemplary, li exemplary life the poem is a satire of the standardization at the expense of individualism. Auden dramatizes his theme by showing the glaring disparity between the complete statistical information about the citizen compiled by the state and the sad inadequacy of the judgments made about him. The poet seems to say that statistics cannot sum up an individual and physical facts are inadequate to evaluate human happiness because man does not live by bread alone. In the phrase unknown, the unknown, the word unknown means ordinary, obscure. So the whole phrase means those ordinary, obscure soldiers as citizens of the state who let down their lives for the defending the motherland wanted name and fame but remained unknown. Thus, unknown citizen means the ordinary average citizen in the modern industrialized urban society. He has no individuality and identity. He has no desire for self-assertion. He likes to remain unknown. At the end of the poem, the poet asks two questions. Was he free? Was he happy? No government statistics can ever answer these kinds of questions. By asking these questions, the poet is drawing our attention to the question of freedom and happiness. And ironically, the poet suggests that the modern man is slaver to routine and he is incapable of understanding such concepts of freedom and happiness. Therefore, such a question in this, con in this context would be absurd. Now we are going to have a discussion of 10 marks questions and here you have two choices and out of the two or the three choices you are going to opt only one. So question number one, comment on Obama's speech, Obama's farewell speech. President Barack Obama's farewell speech or address serves as a symbolic end to an eight-year tenure as the President of the United States. The standard themes in Obama's public addresses have been hope and change and the president continues to elaborate on those here. While describing accomplishments of his administration and thanking important people, Obama uses his last address as a president to craft a narrative in three strands, past, present, and future, meant to inspire civic engagement in his audience. In his last effort, to inspire the, uh, the American people, President Obama concluded his second and final term as the President of the United States by carrying out his farewell address. He mentioned the trials and the turbulence. Sorry, he mentioned the trials and the tribulations, the overall achievements, the work in progress of himself and the American people as a whole. Not only did the speech conclude his time as the as the 44th President of the United States, it also portrayed the legacy he intended to leave among the citizens of America. The main components of his speech included his use of ethos to establish the success of his presidency, the logos to reassure Americans that all is well, and pathos to declare that he is one with the people, not above them. Question number two, explain the theme in democracy. The poem democracy is a strong indictment, uh, sorry, strong indict indictment of the slow progress and empty promises of democracy 
when it comes to racial equality. The speaker's resolute declaration that they have the same right to stand and own the land as anyone else asserts that demand for equal treatment. The poem criticizes the, compla the complacency of those who advocate waiting for change, emphasizing the importance of fighting for freedom now rather than accepting the status quo. There are three important themes. One is equality and freedom. The poem addresses the theme of racial equality and freedom, highlighting the urgency and necessity of these rights. Second, power of action. The poem advocates for taking action and, de and demanding rights rather than waiting for change to happen passively. Third one is here, rejection of compromise. The poem rejects the idea of compromising compromising one's rights and freedom due to the fear or, conven or convenience. So hence, the poem Democracy speaks to the urgent desire for freedom and equality among African Amer Americans. The poem rejects the idea of delaying change and emphasizes the immediate need for equal rights. It asserts that democracy should not be compromised by fear or partiality demands recognition of American, sorry, a recognition of African Americans rightful place in society. So that, that's a that's a theme of the poem, democracy for 10 marks. Last question, discuss the significance of Hatur and its bus stop. So I have given quite long answer, which might cover the summary as well. The short story, The Golden Dream is a translation of Suvarna Swapna from uh, from Pakka from Pakka Kranti, Pakka Kranti, and has been translated from Kannada by Bageshri. The story Golden Dream depicts the innocence, wonder, imagination, and curiosity of child, and the strange, wonderful ways of nature. According to the people of Hatur village, Ramesha didn't have a father. His mother had brought him up all by herself. She had some four or six acres of land in Hatur village. The people of Hatur are a somewhat uh, detached a lot. Since Hatur was surrounded by thick jungles and flanked by two streams on its right and left, it did not have a government road. Though people had lived there for generations, the village had not even been marked on the government map. People of the village paid no tax or levy. The government would not sanction even a paltry coin to the village in its budget. No one went to the village even to ask for votes. So no politics was possible in that village of just three or four houses. There were thick jungles for miles on both the sides of the highway. But for a few vehicles that occasionally piled on the road, not a single soul could be seen on that road. So... Ramesha had to wait there for his bus every day to reach his school, which was far away. It was a strange bus stop. People with weak hearts would never dare alone in that silent, forsaken place and wait for anything even for 10 minutes. The clouds that come floating from the direction, direction of the sea first encountered the peaks of the hills around Hatur. They dashed against them reeled around round and sank down to the valley of Hatur. So it was always cloudy and foggy along the highway. Buses and cars that traveled through the thick fog had to inch ahead, stumbling and groping with headlights on even in the daytime. So the bus stop is the witness of all the events which happens with Ramesha in the story. Ramesha, who was quite bored of waiting in the shade of the huge trees, wondering if the bus would stop at all, started staring at the boulder on the other side of the road. He suddenly asked himself why it couldn't be the back of an elephant. As he stared on the, at the rock, letting his imagination run right, a hidden faculty of his mind gradually came alive 
once he learnt the method of rejecting the cause and effect relationship of the physical world the boulder opposite slowly started breathing and he could see it heaving in the fog enveloped magical world the tree started dancing to the tune of ramesha's imagination as if they were made of rubber like a ring master he conducted the dancing the bus didn't come it was a sound of an ambassador car sometimes people from the valley got tired of waiting for the bus and took a taxi if other people waved they would stop and take them along through it cost though it sorry though it cost 10 paisa more than the bus fare it was better than waiting for the bus waiting for the bus but when ramesha signaled for the taxi to stop it sped away the taxi had dark window panes and he could not even see if there were people inside as the car turned at the bend ramesha who had heard that smugglers always had the car windows painted black though he thought it's dicky must be full of gold biscuits so it was becoming difficult for ramesha to catch the bus so friends this is how i have solved the question paper of 2022 2022 first semester bca bsc and the bangalore university uh, sorry uh, i'm sorry bangalore city university bcu and i have done the videos of all the chapters and the topics of all the workbook please go through the description box find all the videos links or you can go through the playlist on my channel bcu first bca bsc generic english so friends thank you so much wish you good luck for the forthcoming examination and also watch my previous Uh, examinations question paper videos also like 2023 in the model question paper video is also done thank you once again